what's the purpose of the Earned Income Tax Credit and how does it work here in Delaware? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Delaware State Representative Paul Bombeck. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Jill. Uh, earned Income Tax Credit. Talk to us a little bit about the purpose behind it and, and who actually benefits from this program. Sure. Um, well, it's, it's essentially it's a federal program and Delaware gets $155 million a year from the federal government for our lower income working families. Uh, more money if you're earning a little bit more, uh, more if you have more, more children to be caring for. So the federal government looks, and this is only for those who are working, so it's a way to move you from being on public assistance to being independent. It's a way to help you move um, up that hill. The federal program uh, looks at your tax return, looks at your earnings, makes some calculations, and you can get $500 to almost $6,000 in a year of a tax credit, whether or not you owe taxes, depending on th which all depends on your deductions and exemptions. The federal program uh, has been doing that for years. The state has a program, but it, it matches at roughly 20 percent. And let's talk a little bit about the difference in the program. You say that the program can be be very beneficial for lower income workers, but there are some shortfalls that you've pointed out here in Delaware, and one is uh, for those who don't owe money in their taxes. Yes, a, a tax credit, there's two kinds of tax credits. One is a refundable and another is a non-refundable. A non-refundable credit, if you owe $1,000 taxes, you have $800 credit, you can get, you owe $200. But if you only owe 200, you have an $800 uh, tax credit. If it's not refundable, you don't get that extra 600. It just uh, takes up whatever taxes you would owe. The challenge here is with this population, it is by definition lower income, and most of these tax filers don't have state taxes they owe. So it being a non-refundable credit essentially makes it a program that doesn't help them at all. So I'd like to see the Delaware uh, version of this program really match the federal program 20 percent dollar for dollar refundable the same way the federal is. In addition to that change, uh, you want to change the way two income households are viewed. Yes, the federal program for a couple looks at both incomes. The state program only looks at the higher income. Delaware state uh, tax returns a little bit strange, a little bit unique, um, but for some reason they, they decide to vary uh, off of the way the federal program does it. I think that's bad policy. I think we really need to mirror the federal program and then agree on that 20 percent match like many states do of the federal ones. Is the legislature looking at this as an issue in terms of potentially making these changes? Uh, it's, it's now in January we're in these discussions both with the legislature and also with the governor because the governor pr uh, proposes the budget and the House uh, will review it and make some adjustments and then and up uh, voting for it. So it's a big discussion and we're talking about it now. It's the right time to talk about it. It really got started because the University of Delaware economics professor raised it to the attention of both the governor's office and the General Assembly. When we talk about the earned income tax credit overall, what can this program mean in terms of financial stability for families? Sure. This is, this is a really a wonderful program. It makes a big difference for child care. If you're on public assistance, you have your first job, but you have a child to care for at home, you need not only the money for, to replace the public assistance, but you also need money to look after your child while you're at that job. So it makes a, a big impact there. And at the um, upper levels, as you're working your way uh, really to independence, it may you know even get you to the point where you can put $500 a year into a savings account so the next time your car needs a repair you can still go to your job and get that repair and you don't have to lose your job because you, you're losing your car. And with just a few seconds left but even uh, with what you've called shortfalls in this program you're still encouraging people to uh, apply for that earned co income tax credit. Absolutely and this is the time you know from now to April 15th to file your return even if you're like I don't owe taxes I don't need to do that well but if you're uh, at this uh, lower income um, so you're really just getting out on your feet. You may have money coming to you even without owing taxes. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Delaware State Representative Paul Baumbach. I'm Jill Horner.